Hey everybody, Doc's Prop Shop here. So I want to show you a project I'm working on from Ghostbusters Afterlife. And the book I'm using for reference is the Ghostbuster Art and Making of the Movie. So you can get these on Amazon.com or Barnes & Noble. I suggest getting it on Amazon.com. Save yourself $15. So they're quite pricey at Amazon. But I saw a couple of different concepts of the RTV transmitter for the trap, the remote control trap. I saw that one. I thought that was okay. But this one really interested me that Aaron, the artist, put together. How unique is that Futaba? Because I've seen him before making the Doc Brown's Futaba for Back to the Future, the world's premier builder of these, um, with work in 24 museums, documentaries, Discovery Plus. Uh, I thought, well, how cool it would be, since we specialize in these transmitters, uh, let's do the theatrical, although missing the push switch here, or the flip push switch here. Uh, how cool it would be to also do the concept? Because the concept actually shares a lot of the same parts being built around the same year as Doc Brown's Futaba. With the label, power switch, all of the controls, the antenna setup, also the handle. Uh, about 35% of this is the same. Of course, the box is different. So... Let's go ahead and find this and build one. At the time, uh, they are very hard to find. So at the time, there was two listed by the same seller on eBay. Me and another gentleman who uh, is a Ghostbusters fan uh, wanted it. So he got his a little more pricier than mine. I lucked out at $360. Bucks. Uh, still very pricey for a very out-of-date transmitter. This thing's what, nearly 40 years old. So finding the parts, uh, Aaron was going... Just by reference of this and ideas in his head, he picked the joystick for the Atari and uh, just a kind of bicycle uh, handle here for the side. And then, of course, the idea was to make the uh, trap jump. So looking at as close as possible, he said uh, after reaching out to Aaron that there's a lot of parts you're not going to be able to find and it's not going to really fit right because it was just all in his head. This was ever not not ever brought to life just on the concept art. So we went ahead and put it together here for the most part. So we've got our handle here. I'm going to change this. I'm still not quite happy with it, but we do have the push switch as you see on the concept art. Uh, we have the correct stickers here that uh from the original reference photo for the transmitter and then also we upgraded it so that way the lights glow is just like the concept art so this is the concept rtv trap transmitter from ghostbusters afterlife so again we did a theatrical we got a couple different versions of the theatrical of course we have lights in this one that do stuff this one doesn't actually control an rtv trap we haven't built that quite yet, but again, so many parts shared with Doc Brown's controller from Back to the Future. I, I wanted to go ahead and jump on this project. I'll scoot these down so you can see them. So my shop's www.docspropshop.org, and I'm a professional prop builder in the film industry and thought, how cool would it be to bring Aaron's uh, concept art to life? So as far as I know, this is the only one that's completed currently. I haven't seen anybody else do it. If they have, shoot me a message. And let's see how you built yours. Uh, again, it's a really fun project. If anybody has inf any information or would like any information about how I completed this transmitter, shoot me a message. I'll share everything uh, that I can. I also have other spare parts uh, from taking apart Futaba transmitters for years. All three of these are Futabas. Um, from tearing apart for years, building the Doc Brown Futaba, uh, we have lots of spare parts. Uh, the last thing I do have to do is on the end, there's a push switch. So you can actually flip this up and there's a push switch. So I do have to work on that. So if you actually look at the concept art, the silver ring's bigger. And that's because uh, he thought it would sit uh, was smaller in the way it would sit on the front. If you actually can see, uh, it's quite bigger. So we went ahead and got all of these white, just like you see in the concept art. They're originally red or orange. And there it is. I hope you enjoy. That is the... Concept transmitter from Ghostbusters Afterlife for the RTV trap brought to life. And of course, we offer both others on the website of www.docspropshop.org. You can get the full RTV theatrical transmitter and of course our Doc Brown transmitters, which this one here is screen used from Expedition Back to the Future on Discovery+. Plus. 
So this one was actually used by Christian Lloyd, Michael J. Fox, and Josh Gates. Uh, also used for another another production with Universal Studios. Anyways, check out our website. If you like have any questions about how to build the this transmitter, please contact me. And everyone have a great day.